Uh, okay, guys. Hi, my name is Hers the Chamber. I am uh, one of the GSFFCs and one of the probably most active Lodi anchors. Uh, okay, the okay. first thing is that everyone should run harness and anchor on Harris the Chamber. By anchoring, I mean everyone orbit me at 5,000 meters. It's important that you orbit me and not approach. Uh, because let's say that my ship is not moving and you will keep me at range. This will mean that you are not moving as well. And the thing with the logic is that 90% of your tank is uh, just by being small and moving. So if you if you just stop, uh, you're gonna die. And that's why you want to orbit. Uh, start your prop, prop mode. Yeah, and basically, if you're anchoring, uh, if you have an afterburner fit, you have your afterburner on at default. If you have a micro warp drive fit, you will have your micro warp drive off at default, unless the logic anchor tells you to do otherwise. Exactly. The first thing you do is you read the MOTD. I want everyone to reload the MOTD. So if if the fleet will be under decent FC, that is, and it's not like rate format, it will 90-90% of the cases it will have a logic channel in it. Uh, we're gonna use big oak swarm for this mainly. I need everyone to be in the big oak swarm. It's also good if every one of you would join the other two logic channels at least once. Uh, why this is important? Because if there if there will be like a uh, rate form up and FC don't have time to fix his MOTD uh, in the fleet, uh, you still want to be in logic channel. And if someone will just say on the comments, hey, we are using Big Oak Swarm, you want to get in there. So the easiest way to do it is you go to the left side of your screen, uh, to the channel, you click it, and then under player channels, you will see uh, every channel that you joined at least once. You can also drag any channel name from there. And then you create and uh, just post it in chat. This way you create the link to that channel. So other people in the fleet can just left click it and they are in logic channel. It's quite useful. Also, if you're in the logic channel, we fix them that way that the, on the bottom of every MOTD, there is direct link to the logic channel that you are in. For the first, it might look like it's redundant because, well, why do you need a link to the channel that you are in? But if someone is asking what's the logic channel because he didn't read the MOTD or there is none in MOTD, uh, you can just link it. So once you are in the logic channel, uh, I want you now everyone to read the MOTD. The first link, how do I logistic? I want everyone to click it. And then you can see a spreadsheet. It's a little bit outdated uh, because it was made probably one and a half year ago. Uh, the most important thing is, uh, does any one of you guys don't know how to broadcast for reps to everyone? So how to do it? Uh, press escape, uh, go to shortcuts, then navigation. And then from the top, if you sort by command as descending, uh, like sixth or seventh from the top, you will see broadcast need armor, need capacitor and need shield. Those are the three broadcasts that are uh, useful. And the capacitor is uh, if you're running like Osprey, Augror, uh, Basilisk or Guardian Logi. The shield and armor are uh, obvious. The first thing uh, you want to have once you open the settings of the fleet, uh, there is like uh, broadcast settings. I want you to open it. On the right side, you can see that you can assign colors to the broadcasts. Uh, one thing about the broadcast, if you're doing a uh, Logi, um, please remove the uh, target broadcast. You can check for the things, what broadcast you want to use. Um, always have shield and armor on because people panicking and they want, if you're an armor fleet, they're panicking, they click the shield button or otherwise they click the armor button. So always have them both uh, assigned. But if you're in a big fleet and with a lot of targets, it's hard to find the right uh, broadcast. So by then remove the target broadcast so you won't get uh, filled up with those and you see all, see all the reps coming. 
Yeah, it's as Apple said. Also, there will be situation when, like, let's say, intercept or Victor will warp to the lodges uh, after like being shot, and he will ask for the armor, even in shield fleet. This means that you can send your armor uh, repair drones to him, repair him, and then he's jumping back into action. So basically, you want to see uh, broadcast for shield armor, but not the target. As you can see on the infographic that I linked to you, the um, Google Doc. Uh, there is also instruction how to make your watch list. Uh, usually the watch list is provided by the Logi Anchor, but sometimes, well, there will be someone like random Logi saying, hey, I will be Logi Anchor, and he might not provide you a watch list. What you want to have on the watch list is uh, FC, Logi Anchor, in that order. You always want to pre-log them all the time. And then there is like, support ships like force multipliers so ships that are webbing that are pointing from distance because they are probably gonna be shot first and then usually other lodges in 99% fleets that you will attend you will have a watch list uh, given to you by Logi Anchor yeah and be aware that the watch list will uh, only be provided uh, when we are in space because then as lodges, we can see in our overview what kind of ships we have and who we want on the watch list. So, in when you're docked, just make sure you have the FC, uh, the lodge anchor, backup anchor, etc., in the in the watch list. And then during the time we're flying to a target or sitting at the gate, etc., we will uh, add extras to the watch list. So be aware of that. Uh, that that will happen during flying to the to the target. Okay, then next next thing in the Logi channel uh, are the fits. As you can see, from they are uh, put in the, from the best fit to the worst fit. So from the top you see Afterburner Scimitar, uh, Good Scythe, Newbie Scythe, then same is for the Micro Warp Drive. Uh, similar thing for the Armor Logis. There is a Logi Overview profile. I didn't run it, it's not mine. So I don't, I have no clue what's in there, um, but by knowing who made it, it's pro probably a simpler than mine. A uh, Guardian fit is in the uh, big chain. MOTD in every Logi channel is the same, except the links for the chain channel and uh, link to share. And there is a thing, you never AFK in the Logi channels on, and especially in the CAP channels. It's not because of the OPSEC, but you are uh, falsifying uh, the numbers and you just like make the life of the other lodges harder. Uh, you never, there is a rule that you never uh, say who is Logi Anchor in the fleet chat or on the comms. You only do it in Logi channel. It's just to make the hostile spy life a little bit harder. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in the Logi channel that you, uh, that you have. Don't be shy. Uh, it's better to ask than to fuck up. It's not that the fleet will die if you fuck up, it's just you. Uh, but it's always better to, to survive and to be useful. How do the reps rep works and the best tactic to repair things? Uh, someone broadcast for shield. So the thing is, let's say hostiles are shooting the parade and if he is a good pilot, he would notice that whole enemy fleet is yellow boxing him. So he is broadcasting for reps, we are prelocking him, and then nothing happens. He's not losing his hit points. It's important that you don't uh, delock him, because that damage can be delayed by a few seconds. And if you delock him, he might die. The second thing is that you almost never run all your reps at the same time on the target. If you are in Scythe, uh, you just want to run two reps on him, because what will happen next? Either he will die, because we couldn't lock him and wrap him in time. Or the incoming DPS is so high that uh, we cannot sustain. So let's say that we are actually sustaining on Parade and the hostiles are changing the target. If we would be running all reps on him and let's say now they are switching into Brian, we, you would have to wait for all your shield wrappers uh, to stop the cycle before you can repair the next target. That's why you only run two out of your three wrappers or three out of your four. Because then you have that one extra wrapper that will land on the next target immediately. And when 
your cycle on the two wrappers that you were using on the previous target and their cycle, you can apply them to the new primary and turn the third wrapper off. This is the most proficient way. The shield wrappers uh, land on the target in the beginning of the cycle, so it means that they're uh, applied instantly. The armor wrappers work different. And they are applied at the end of the cycle. And this is quite important because in armor fleets you have to do what I said with not running all the reps on one target at the same time because you really want to have that once per wrapper ready. Because let's say that if you run all your reps on the primary then you need to wait to the end of the cycle to start wrapping the next guy and then you have to wait to another end of the cycle to land the reps and in that time hostiles can shoot him like three times and he can actually die. Yeah, and this is especially important if you try to keep one rep free or close to free. So if the Logi Anchor or the FC gets shot, you always have reps for them. Uh, about pre-repping FCs and Logi Anchors, in 99% cases, if you have to do it, he will die anyway. I don't recommend to do this, even if there are some that request this. Yeah, because if you're pre-wrapping, uh, they notice uh, to the Logi Anchor or the FC, others can see that the wraps are landing to them. So they might think, oh, they're they're wrapping them, they must be important. So um, i rather have that you don't uh, wrap the FC or myself as Logi Anchor, because it's harder for the enemy to find out that uh, he, who is the person who is getting shot, etc. The most important part is that you bring a correct uh, propulsion module. You don't want to be afterburner fit in micro warp drive fleet, and you don't want to have micro warp drive in the afterburner fleet. And the thing for this is that uh, Scythe with afterburner uh, have like 100 meters of signature radius, and with micro warp drive it have 750. Basically, you convert yourself into battleship. The Dominics in our Domi fleet have 320 meters of signature radius, so you're twice as big as Domi and you're gonna die fast. And because of that, uh, the micro warp drive fleets almost never run uh, micro warp drives permanently. Logi Anchor will tell you when they should be on and when they should be off and for how many cycles. They're only used to go to the right spot where the logis went to be and then you turn them off if you are in burst or bantam in harpy fleet uh, you 99 percent of the time you anchor on the fc this is the only oh, this is the only fleet where you actually anchor on the fc in every other fleet you want to have designed logi anchor and when the, there is like big fleet sometimes logi anchor will give you like almost 20 guys that need to be watch listed what you want to do is you want to pick some random guys, let's say that you have 10 Webers and you have two spots left on your watches, you just basically pick two random ones and take care of them. But the good rule is that you never have 15 targets on your watch list, uh, that you will go only for 14. Let's say that there is someone in the fleet that fucked up and he cannot broadcast for reps. However, he's smart enough to say it in fleet chat, as this guy said, he need reps. So what do you do? You right click on his name, you go to the fleet and then to add to, to your watch list. Once he's on the watch list, you can control left click on him and voila, you, you have flogged someone and you can send him reps. Uh, this is being used widely uh, after the bombing runs. Uh, the thing is that after the bombing run, a lot of people are damaged and we have to choose the right ones to repair. So what FC or Logi Anchor will do is he will say, except in the fleet chat, if you're really damaged with how much shield or armor you have left. So what do you do is you clear the broadcasts. There is a clear clear history button. Once you click it, everything is gone. You just ignore all the guys. What do you do is you pick up uh, guys from the feature chat that are claiming to have the lowest hit points and you start from wrapping them. But the highest priority will be on the guy that will say that he's actual being primaried by hostiles, he can either say, hey, I am being shot, he can write RB, RB is shortcut from Redbox, 
or he can do YB, which is shortcut from yellow box. Uh, you want to add those guys to watch list, lock them, and then remove from watch list so you have spot and you can add more people. Sometimes Logi Anchor will uh, drag a name to Logi channel to make it easier and he will say, hey, lock this guy. Because in big fights there will be like always interceptor who are uh, asking for shields while being 300 kilometers from you and you just waste your time by locking them. And there is easy way to filter them. If you're using decent Logi overview, uh, you can go to like preset that shows only the fleet members. And if in your overview you have checked uh, broadcasts go to the top, then if someone asks for shield, he will be on the top of the overview list, no matter how it's sorted. And then you can see his ship type. So if you see, see oh, this is a Atron or this is like Interceptor, you can just ignore him. And if you see that it's like useful ship, like Logi or the main ship or the decent support ship, uh, you can lock him and start wrapping him. Uh, if you will find yourself in f flying mm, armor logi in battleship fleet the armor logis with the boosts are doing around 600 to 700 meters per second at full speed with prop mode on while battleships do like 100 meters per second if the F fc will order fleet to align after longer time you will find yourself uh, burning a couple times faster than battleships and because of that, you will lose range on them. In that situation, usually Logi Anchor will tell you to turn your prop mod off and align with just three quarters of your speed. So for the longer alignment, you want to slow down because if you miss it, you might end up being out, completely out of the Logi range and die or not being able to uh, save the other guys. Uh, the second thing is that in the Ishtar fleets, if you find yourself being in rivers or your alliance will be running Ishtars, sometimes the Logi Anchor will tell you to keep at range, like 20k or 10k, depending on, on the situation. Then you change from orbit to keep at range. Uh, the reason why he is doing this is to um, align you out. And this is important Then you will be keeping him at range instead of orbiting at that point. Uh, because if you will not switch, you will basically stay on the grid while everyone will warp off and then probably someone will point you and you will be killed. If you have like drones in your ship, basically you want to have ECM drones and armor or hull uh, drones combined. ECM drones are for like clearing of tackle from you. You can like ECM, even with EC300, you can ECM interceptor or saber or even hostile logi. It's really funny when you ECM a hostile logi in, in a fight because it's kind of annoying to him. Also important, uh, sorry, also important um, with drones, um, especially if you want to, you're allowed to bring some horde drones. So bring one uh, warrior or something like that if you like some kill mills and it's an easy fleet, but only use those if the wrapping is okay and it's uh, easy going. If it's a hard fleet, hard to work, etc then don't use it. Um, with the, we have the Logi channel and also the fleet channel. Uh, what I tend to do is have those both open. So I have the Logi channel below and the fleet channel above it. So I can read uh, what is set in both channels. So you can keep updated because sometimes you are things set in Logi, but also fleet members want their attention from you. So have those both open so you can do everything you want. And yes, your screen will be full of all boxes and you won't see that much uh, on the screen for uh, ships itself. But yeah, that makes it your work easier. Uh, we uh, always say to you that you have to have the FC and the Logi Anchor pre-locked. There are two reasons for that. The main reason is you can land reps faster, but also keep uh, in, uh, it helps you to keep uh, you in range. So you know how far you're off the sea, how far you're off uh, your Logi Anchor. And the third big reason is, if I'm logic anchoring a big fleet of 250 people, I don't always have time to broadcast for reps because, yeah, I'm busy with 10 different things. So then um, please keep in mind that sometimes somebody will uh, need reps and doesn't broadcast, especially FC and logic anchor. So uh, keep your eye on that 
and uh, adjust your reps if needed. Okay, guys, I'm switching the targets now, so you have to pay attention because uh, we would almost lose our spree if I would not stop shooting him. Now, at some point, uh, if we're doing lots, you said you're getting shot, and we're not bubbled because we try as lots anchors to keep out of the bubble, uh, and you're getting seriously shot, and reps won't help. Just warp off and warp back again later on. So, uh, yeah, you can continue. There's no problem with that uh, because we rather have. A short time, no reps, then the whole time, less reps. So, uh... Uh, basically, you want to keep your reps as long as the target is taking damage. But if you see him like being like full health and taking almost no damage, uh, then you want to turn them off just so you are ready to uh, proceed to the next target. Uh, also, the fast way to unlock the target is to hold Control Shift and then left click on someone that you are locking. Uh, because especially if you're lower on the skill points and in tier 1 logic, you might not have that many targets. Uh, the, not that big amount of maximum targets locked at the same time. A scythe is around 8, but you have to mm, have skills for it. The skills are target management and advanced target management. Uh, well, if many people are shot at the same time, well, in that case, you have to prioritize who is more important to keep alive. The most important person will be FC. The second will be Logi Anchor. And then it will be either Logis or some of the support ships, but it will depend on the situation. In a really situation like that, you have 99% chances that there will be a decent Logi Anchor and he will tell you. And if not, you can always ask FC, say, hey, FC, which ships uh, you want to be uh, reps to be focused on? And FC will tell, tell you who he wants to keep alive. Yes, and most of the time, people in your watch list that have been watch listed through the Logi Anchor say that we want a watch list uh, are the priority above the normal broadcasts. So if you see there people uh, going down in health and also people in broadcast others then just go by your watch list first and then uh, the broadcasts as a logi pilot you're going to learn that you're sometimes going to feel bad because you can't rip everybody things happen when there's four thousand people in the system and the tide is at 90 percent that you're not going to be able to save everybody um and that's just okay like you do you can only do as much as you can do and okay at the end of the day you're a hero and sometimes you're not the best thing is basically just to show on the fleet uh, and grab the people. It's really fun when you see like someone that's going down uh, that you bring him back to life. Uh, a lot of people will directly appreciate you by just by saying thank you Lord, just after you save them. Yeah, and, and, and like you're doing, you were typing in chat and missed uh, the broadcast etc. And that's the reason why you at least if you're uh, setting up your watch list have the lotsy above and below you in the overview. Uh, added to your watch list, so every logic should have at least one above and below them, and preferably, if possible, two above and below them on their watch list. So if anything happens and they don't notice that they're getting shot, then other logics will see and can uh, wrap them up, etc., before he even is uh, broadcasting. That's also where audio alerts are pretty useful in the game. Uh, the, thing, the thing is that in the big tie dye fight, like above 1000 people in local, you want to have actually your audio disabled because you can really gain like 40 FPS. Yeah, and also speaking of tie dye, um, sometimes people are getting shot in tie dye, but it takes a while before you see it in your. Uh, on your targets that they're getting shot. So if somebody is broadcasting for reps, especially in tie dye, make sure you put at least one wrapper on them, even if they look like they're not getting shot, because sometimes the server cannot keep up. You can also add to watch these people by us saying, "Hey, uh, I need like webbing ships or pointing ships to accept in the fleet." The, the thing is that some of the people we are uh, not accept. Some people we accept even if they're like frigate. So you will be never sure if your watch list is uh, correct after this. Just join fleets in Logi. Uh, we won't bite, uh, especially if you have any questions about Logi during the fleet. Just ask them in the Logi channel. There will be uh, Logi anchors and experienced Logi pilots there to answer them all for you. So that's no problem. And uh, 
we're all here to help and happy that people want to uh, join us to keep the fleet alive. Uh, yeah, when you are getting bombed, you want to have your your micro warp drive off. If possible, you, you want sometimes to even overheat your tank. 99% of the time, it is not logic who will get bombed. Yeah, and uh, normally when there are uh, we are a fleet, we always uh, anchor at 2,500 to 5,000 meters. Uh, if there are a lot of bombers in uh, in a system, uh, the lodge anchor may actually go to 7,500 to 10,000 meters uh, orbit. So uh, if they're bombing, the, it's harder to bomb the whole lodge wing instead of uh, because we're less close with each other. So. Uh, Keep your eye on the logic channel for that because all the information will be there. And the final word, uh, usually uh, there is designed logic wing. Uh, this wing is receiving the exact books that logic need. Usually it's called logic wing or maybe sometimes skirmish wing. It will be told by FC and by logic anchor, uh, which is it. Uh, if you are joining just fleet, it's always worth to ask, hey, do we need to be in exact wing or something like this?